Do not tip these losers. Are you ready or you need more time? The tipping backlash has begun, and those in the service industry already feeling the pinch. Tips have gone down. I'm making 30% less than what I typically make in a given year. According to data from Toast, the average nationwide tip at full service restaurants fell to 19.4% of the total check in the second quarter of 2023. Do not tip these losers. So guys, tipflation has finally begun to kick in and people are beginning to experience a backlash and revolt against the practice of tipping. Watch it in the video to understand why people are now tired of tipping and are reducing the amounts they're tipping and what the implications are for society. And now let's just go ahead and jump right back into the video. Lowest percentage since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. So what we're seeing now nationwide is something that is known as tipflation. And this idea of tipflation is that pretty much at every opportunity, we're being presented with a tablet that's asking us how much we'd like to tip. Like I always click 20 because I feel pressured to do so, even if it's just to get a cup of coffee. This tipflation causing tipping fatigue. Consumers are fed up. I feel like now it's not great. Uh, just everyone's so stingy, I feel like. Tipping should be about great service. It's about someone going the extra steps. It's not something that should be required. It's not something you go in and pay with a card and it says, okay, what kind of tip are you going to leave me? It's about service. But when you're deciding what to tap on that iPad, are you really thinking about how your choice is affecting the worker behind the counter? Unfortunately, we are in a space where we do still rely on tips and that is needed income for us to feed our families as well. I don't really give a damn about these people feeding their families. If they wanted to make a livable wage and they should have went out and got and gained skills that would allow them to earn a livable wage. It is not my job to give you tips so that you can feed your family. I don't care about you like that. I'm just being so real. There was a post that was left on one of my videos discussing the subject where it's actually titled, these people are real losers. And it talks about how they're losing their jobs now because of increased minimum wage in California. And I got a comment from one of these people and his name is Shino. He says, okay, but I'm sorry, but when I believe, I'm sorry, but well, I believe you are a good guy, angry guy, but I'm sorry, but like, bro, I'm not fighting for that nonsensical amount of cash to be paid, but I have autism and still have not gotten help because I have basically no family or friends and I can usually only get a fast food job and that's to just barely live every month and pay small bills. I'd love for you to say to my face, that I do not deserve a job. Bro, you do not deserve a job. I'd love to I'd love for you to say to my face that I do not deserve a job now if this is what you meant by my bad. But if you but if so, I don't know. Bro, I mean, this is how you wrote it. But if so, I don't know, bro. Seems pretty messed up. If so, so I'm sorry, but I do have the right to have a job. So this is what he said. He wrote, you know, he said he has autism. My response to him was, I empathize with every struggle you've gone through. I empathize, I empathize that autism has been a daily struggle in your life. I hope things improve for you. And finally, you are not entitled to a job or good pay for simply having a job. What we earn should be dictated by the market, not the not by policy. If you can't survive because of your autism, then you should consider applying for disability. And it seems like his reasoning is this. He has autism, and because he has autism, it makes life a lot harder, and it's hard for him to get help because he doesn't have anyone to help him go and get help, and life sucks. Let me make this very clear. No one is entitled to anything. This dude is literally saying that he has... He said it, he said it right there. I do have the right to have a job. You do not have the right to have a job. This is something that these people don't seem to understand. You are not entitled to a job. You are not entitled to anything in this world. You are not entitled to kindness, to a smile, 
to comfort, to compassion. You are not you are not entitled to anything. Okay, back when I was growing up, you know, to get a job at McDonald's as a teenager, because it was predominantly teenagers who did these jobs. You had to know someone. You had to go in. You had to actually show that you had some talent, and you were grateful for this job. You were grateful being able to make make a little extra cash so you could buy the stuff that you wanted. For guys, for, it would be might might be like video games and sneakers, or you know, stuff like that. For girls, it might be you know makeup, and it could help pay for your cell phone. Things were different back then, you know. Now you have a lot of people who don't have really any value. And they offer society nothing, so they deviate to these types of jobs, and they think that they're entitled. And it's like I say to myself, brother, you don't deserve it. You don't. You're not entitled to anything. All right. You are. It's only what you can produce, what what the markets dictate, and what value you bring to the market. And saying that, well, because I have autism, and these are really the only jobs that I can that I can do and barely survive. That's not my problem. If you have issues and you're not able to function in society, then you need to turn to the disability system. And if you're capable of working in fast food, but you're not capable of applying for disability, that's total BS. You, that means that you are too lazy to go and apply for disability, and you don't want to even go through the process of getting disability because you'd more you'd more likely you'd probably get right around what you're getting for uh, for these low wage jobs. As you know, similar to disability, maybe, but you would also qualify for other benefits, like you know, to help you help you with rent and and everything else, you know, housing and so forth. So you'd get in, you'd basically get enough to keep you going, all right. But to expect that society needs to give you handouts, and that because you're struggling in life because you have these challenges, you know, we should be paying people a livable wage in every single job. That's what we call socialism, friend. You know, and a livable wage was is not dictated based on where you based on the job. You know, a livable wage is not is, is not based on the job that you do. It's more, you know, in, in your sense, you're like, well, okay, everyone should be able to make a livable wage, no matter what your job you do. But the reality is that depending on where you live, a livable wage is different for some people. There are some people who who make thirty thousand dollars a year, but where they live, you know, rent is only five hundred dollars a month. You know, food is food is food is affordable. So thirty thousand dollars a year, you can live well on that. Where in those places, in other places like let's say New York, you know, bro, it's you know three thousand dollars a month is a steal with roommates. Where you'll have people rent like you'll have three roommates, three or four roommates renting an apartment, and everyone's rent is like thirty five hundred to four thousand dollars a month, and that's you know. So you're paying forty-eight thousand, let's say four thousand dollars a month. You're paying forty-eight thousand dollars to live in a room. If you actually want to rent an apartment for yourself somewhere, oh, then we're looking in the range of easily one hundred to one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year. You know, and you know, and of course you can find something cheaper here and there, but the reality is to actually survive in somewhere like New York to live comfortably. They've done surveys. To live comfortably, a livable wage in New York is like one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year minimum. One hundred twenty thousand dollars a year minimum. I mean, you have guys in your industry that are now put that they're now fighting for thirty dollars an hour in the fast food industry after they got twenty, and they're saying that it should be a livable wage, and they're calling that fifty fifty dollars an hour, and and you know guys like you think that that's that's it's about kindness and you're entitled to this. No one's entitled to anything. And it's robbery, it's theft when you have people like who are working hard for their money and they're not being and they're being paid less. You have, for example, in, in the state of California, the minimum wage is just over $16. So you have someone who might work as let's say an EMT, and they may get paid $18 an hour after having to go through all of this training and get certified. And the the lives of people are in their hands. And they're making eighteen dollars an hour, and you are making twenty dollars an hour, working at McDonald's, working in fast food restaurants, and you think that you're entitled to this, or someone who goes and trains to be a certified nursing assistant, right, or someone who goes or, or and also learns how to be a phlebotomist, and they're getting eighteen dollars an hour, while you're getting and they had to go and 
They had to take certifi new certifications, you know, do exams, stand for an exam. You know, they had to do all of this stuff. They had to put and spend money out of their pocket, thousands of dollars to do all of this. They had to study, learn, do so much for $18 an hour. Think about this. And they have to be very careful when they do their jobs because lives are dependent on them. And they have real responsibilities for $18 an hour. And you're entitled to, you're, and you think $20 an hour is not enough for you. You're ridiculous. You think you're entitled to $20 an hour and, and advocating for, for, for $30 or even $50. And pe talking to people like these, they, they, it doesn't make any sense because you will never reach them. You will never reach these people. You know, these are the people that support Kamala Harris, who is now saying that if she's elected president, she's going to regulate food. She's going to start with regulating food prices. Regulating food prices. Guys, that will create, that will create, uh, that will create a, uh, a, 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 that will create, that will create a drought of food. All right. That will create a food shortage. This is what they did in Venezuela. They regulated everything. They regulated the cost of food. They regulated the cost of products. They regulated the cost of service. The industry, the government took over entire industries such as uh, such as energy production. And what ended up happening is that when they they regulated the cost of toilet paper, and companies were like, okay, yeah, we're done, and they basically stopped selling things in Venezuela. They left Venezuela, and then every and the, the only thing that existed was the black market. And things were ex very ex expensive on the black market. And when when Venezuela said, "Okay, okay, we get it now. You're not going to do business here if we um, if we regulate the prices," so they removed the price controls. What and then and then what happened when they did when when companies did start making selling things again in Venezuela? We they had hyperinflation, where the cost of everything went so far through the roof that the money became literally worth nothing. Very similar to what we're seeing in the United States now, and. The Bolivar collapsed, you know, Venezuela became a dictatorship, as we can see what's happening right now over there, and many people, millions and millions of people left the country and went to other places like the United States, and it's still in a serious economic crisis. It's improved a bit, but it's still pretty, it's still pretty rough over there. I mean, guys, I, I just don't know what to say regarding all of this. It's insane. And these people will vote these types of people in because they don't give a damn. As long as they, you know, it, it's it's such a sad, it's such a disgrace. It's such a disgrace. And then when things go downhill, you know, people like him will just blame their condition. They'll say, well, I have autism. Bro, no one gives it. Like, bro, seriously, I'm not holding it against you. You have to be an adult and responsible. I understand how it can affect the way that you think. There's a lot of people that have autism, high-functioning autism, and they, and they roll with it, all right? You have no place whatsoever saying that you deserve anything and that you, and, and say it to your face. I would say it right to your face, bro. But let's be realistic. How, what would I be met with? Violence? Because I share my opinion. And then what would you do afterwards? You'd say that you'd cop out and say, well, I have autism. Get the heck out of here, man. Get out of here with that nonsense. Nobody wants to hear that. Guys. These people are going to find themselves in increased states of destitution and poverty as artificial intelligence replaces these jobs and companies move out of states like California where they're dictating communist policies to give these people uh, give these people pay that they really don't deserve. Okay? The future for these people is poverty and destitution. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the content, subscribe to our newsletter for my personal thoughts, insights, and a free copy of my ebook. The Blueprint for Escaping the Rat Race. Click the link in the description to get your free copy. What do you guys think regarding this? Do you agree, guys? Do you agree with me? Do not tip these losers. Let me know your thoughts, and we'll talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWM and walking away. And cheers.